Well, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he has launched a strong offensive against the Congress over its failure to fulfill promises after winning elections. He gave the examples of Congress-ruled Himachal Pradesh, Karnataka and Telangana, where he said developmental and fiscal indicators have gone from bad to worse. He also attacked the Congress, saying that the Congress party is realizing the hard way that making unreal promises is easy. But implementing them properly is tough or even impossible. This, in fact, comes on a day when uh, Congress chief Malika Arjun Kharge had advised the Karnataka chief minister and the state Congress leaders you know, to ensure that any guarantees or welfare schemes announced are financially feasible within the state's budget. He, in fact, emphasized the importance of not misleading the public with promises that cannot be fulfilled. I think uh, Prime Minister's office has misguided him. Where is the question of, uh, at no point of time, Congress party has not gone back to the world. Whatever we had promised in the country, in the entire, from starting from the day of independence till today, not even a single program has been taken back. It is the Congress policies which has been done in the entire country. We never take back. It is just a political gimmick which they have done. I am very sorry. The highest office should not meddle with this type of affairs. They have copied our scheme, copied our guarantee. They, he knows that Congress party is going to win the election. That is why he is trying to attack. And my colleague Pratibha joins us to get us more on this. Pratibha, the Prime Minister's attack, uh, it has evoked a strong response from the Congress. Not, not just from uh, the state, but also from uh, the party chief itself. This is not just a war of words, but it has also become a Twitter war of sorts. And uh, that is between the Prime Minister as well as the State Chief Minister, Sid Ramya, that we are talking of. And everything revolves around the poll guarantees. And this also comes in the backdrop of uh, Mr. D.K. Shivkumar's statement where he did mention um, considering the revision of one of the schemes, and that is the Shakti scheme that offers free bus rides for women in the state of Karnataka. Now, remember, these are the schemes that uh, definitely made Congress stormed back to power in 2023 during the assembly elections and it has become a model of sorts model of sorts for the entire country and uh, with this statement that did not really augur well for uh, the AICC president Mallikarjun Karge who did advise them to make uh, any kind of schemes or announce any kind of poll guarantees keeping uh, the budgetary provisions in mind and that is exactly what he has advised uh, in Maharashtra as well and this has become a uh, a great fodder for the BJP because we are talking of uh, the state getting into election mode that is Maharashtra and uh, it seems like uh, there are questions that are being raised in terms of resources to run them there are also questions that revolve around how some of the ministers and the MLAs in Karnataka have been talking about not getting enough funds for development works as well and uh, all of this put together is definitely putting the Congress on the back foot and this has become enough fodder for the BJP we'll have to wait to see how this poll plank on guarantees will play a major role or a crucial role as far as Maharashtra is concerned. Absolutely. And uh, looking ahead to the Maharashtra and Jharkhand elections, is this one of the BJP's poll strategy now to take on uh, the opposition? Well, uh, at this point in time, yes, uh, right at a time when the Congress is all set to announce its poll guarantees, this will definitely become one of the poll planks for uh, uh, the BJP because we are talking of the BJP going hammer and tongs with respect to the budgetary provisions, with respect to how this is draining the state exchequer. The fact that we have union ministers like Mr. Prahla Joshi, who's already made statements on this, and now the Prime Minister himself taking on this and also coming at a crucial juncture when uh, the poll guarantees are set to be announced and when there are just a couple of days left for uh, the election, this definitely becomes one of the most crucial debates that are buried in the political heat of the electoral battle in Maharashtra.